Hi friends, welcome back. So question for you, who dropped the soap in the Tesla Cybertruck factory? That's the subject of today's video. And yes, we are talking about Cybertrucks and soap. So what's going on? There's a recall, it says headline here, Tesla will recall Cybertruck in latest setback. And if you're curious how many Cybertrucks have been made, uh, we have a number finally. Tesla recalls nearly 4,000 Cybertrucks over faulty uh, accelerator pedal. And the exact number is 3,878. Um, Tesla has not been telling us how many exact Cybertrucks they've been uh, selling slash delivering, but now we got an actual number. It's actually really interesting. And moreover, um, recently, if you've been following my channel, I made a video called Death Trap, a Tesla Cybertruck Recall Production Halt. Uh, please watch that if you haven't already. Uh, we actually looked at the accelerator pedal issue and um, make no jokes about this, it's really dangerous. Uh, essentially, the pedal gets br uh, broken, stuck, and um, it gets pushed down 100%. So um, if you're not careful, um, it could really, I mean, it's really dangerous. So please watch the video, you'll see it for yourself. And one of the things that um, I mentioned with the video that I made is that the pumpers uh, aren't showing you this kind of stuff. And essentially this brings up the issue of the pumpers dilemma is what we're calling it here. And um, the pumpers out there, and there's a whole bunch of them on social media, they're falling to either A or B that they have to decide. Um, a, do they pump dreams and lies, but hurt their audience finances, right? So uh, this is what most of the pumpers do. Uh, B, or do they tell the truth, but hurt their audience's feelings? And this is sort of the, the decision that the pumpers have to make all the time. They most likely and, and most often go with A. Uh, they just pump you with dreams and lies, uh, but hurt your finances. And what are we talking about here? Well, Tesla stock year to date is down uh, about 40%. You can see this here, 40, 41%. Uh, currently trading at 147. Um, from the top, it is down 63.9%. So uh, you're losing half your money being in this thing. Um, uh, before we talked about how it was the worst performing stock in the S&P 500, it is that bad. Uh, moreover, you can take a look at this. This is the recall itself, and we're gonna talk about the SOAP situation um, in a moment here. Uh, submission date, April 17th, 2024. Um, number of potentially involved, 3,878. Estimated percentage with defect, 100%. Um, we we're talking about production dates. So cars, these are Cybertrucks, uh, from November 13th of 2023 to April 4th, 2024. Uh, and uh, they're recalling these things. Um, what's going on with the soap? I'll read it to you guys. It says here, an unapproved change, unapproved change introduced lubricant, soap, to aid in the component assembly of the pad onto the accelerator pedal. Residual lubricant reduced the retention of the pad to the pedal. So the problem is they use some sort of soap that was unapproved. Who knows what's going on with that? And uh, again, please watch this video if you haven't already. I go over the issue. It's pretty serious. And again, I pose a question. Who dropped the soap at the Cybertruck factory? That's the subject. And um, I, I want to go over this stuff, guys, with the pumpers and all these things because I, I think these kind of issues are, are really quite serious, especially when they're hiding information from you or outright lying to you. I wanna give you some more uh, parts of sort of understanding the pumper's dilemma. And again, these are a lot of the people on social media pumping up your Teslas and stuff like that. Uh, a, um, they're purposely hiding the truth from the audience, right? So they know what the truth is, but they just don't show you. So for example, and I don't know what's going on in the heads of the pumpers, there's a possibility some of the pumpers actually did see this pedal issue, did see the video, but they decided not to show you because it would hurt your feelings, right? Uh, so they purposely hide it from you. That's just one example. Um, or B, they're too stupid to even know what the truth is. And there's a possibility on that. So either one, uh, they're, just, they're actively deceiving you or B, they're just really dumb. <laughs> uh, either one is not good, but this is essentially what Tesla pumpers are. Or C, which also which they, they fall into, they repeat whatever the king pumper says, right? Whatever Elon Musk tweets out, they repeat it out like it's truth slash fact. So um, you take your pick either way. Um, they were pumpers and um, they're not out for your uh, greater good. They're out to basically enrich themselves. Um, this is a one of the truths I want to tell you guys about. And I've mentioned this before, but I just want to show you again because a lot of people don't understand this. So we'll read the headlines together here. Coming from Bloomberg, banks stuck with X debt. So we're talking about Twitter, uh, held re refinancing talks with Elon Musk. So, you know, oftentimes the pumpers say, oh, you know, Elon Musk doesn't care about money. <laughs> so let's just say you're right. Let's say, for example, and let's say the pumpers are correct and that Elon Musk doesn't care about money. I will tell you the truth. The banks care about money, right? Regardless of what Elon Musk thinks, I promise you banks care about money because that's what they care about, right? They're banks. What are you, ta what are you talking about? And let me read this. If you guys don't know about this stuff, um, basic gist of it is that Morgan Stanley has a lot of skin in the game regarding Elon Musk and Twitter. 
um, and we'll read it together. A bank group spearheaded by Morgan Stanley, right? So Morgan Stanley sort of initiated this thing, held discussions with Elon Musk and his team about refinancing a roughly $12.5 billion debt package that supported the tech billionaires take private of the social media platform X, according to people with knowledge of the matter, right? So this matters, guys. Why does this matter? Why do we care about Morgan Stanley? Because Morgan Stanley, and I, and I put it right here just so you can see it very clearly, um, they're always the essentially the ones on Wall Street that are giving the highest price targets, right? The, you put the pieces together. So they they have a lot of skin in the game. They want um, essentially Elon Musk to make sure you pay him back the money. Um, there's other banks involved as well. And essentially they're, they're trying to pump up the stock to get you to buy it so Musk can pay them, right? It all fits. Uh, moreover, now we're hearing this thing here. Tesla's pushing to get that $56 billion over to Musk. And remember, this comes after... Uh, the 10 percent layoffs and this is something the pumpers won't talk about but i'm going to tell you the truth on this thing there's a high chance if you approve this thing so let's say all the tesla retail voters like oh yeah, yeah give give us the money so where do you think the money is going to come from seriously this is a serious question where do you think the money is going to come from and i'll answer out of your pocket so um probably what you're looking at um i, I just checked the uh, market cap of uh, tesla i think it's around 500 ish uh, uh billion something like that so if you're going to pay this dude an extra 56 billion, and um, I think there's a high chance that would drop the stock maybe 10 to 15 percent if that is the case, and they may even get a bigger drop because I have a feeling after they dilute you, right? So after they say, "Well, give them the 56 billion," your stock goes down another 10, 50 percent. Then I think there's a high chance that Musk is going to sell to pay back debts that he owes. So that would be yet another 10 percent. So we'll see uh, what that ends up being. But I'm trying to be honest with you guys, and again, the pumpers won't tell you the truth. Um, the other thing too that was kind of an odd one. This was a headline uh, just recently. I'll read it to you guys. Elon Musk email says Tesla sent incorrectly low severance packages to laid off employees. I don't know. I I have no idea what's going on there with their HR and like trying to lowball severance. But I, I have no idea. So Musk is saying, oh well, you know, it was a mistake. We'll correct it. Who knows? I, I I'll just I'll just say that. Who knows? Uh, Musk has been known to. Um, not be so forthcoming with this kind of issues before regarding money, et cetera. So, you know, who knows? Um, but uh, it, it, it would be um, uncool if you got, you know, laid off by Tesla and you get this weird email and you're like, wait, this isn't the right numbers, et cetera. What's going on over there? And so this was a huge PR thing for them. So that's why uh, they resent the email and said, okay, it's too low. We'll fix it. <laughs> um, and I also want to show you guys this as well. Um, whether or not, you know, you should approve uh, Musk's uh, $56 billion pay thing. Um, this is actually one of the uh, biggest um, shareholders in Tesla. So my understanding, so according to this person's own words, they're saying that the third largest shareholder of Tesla, um, and also too, which I think is interesting, they're the largest uh, retail shareholder. Um, his name is um, Leo, it should be Kwa Guan. There he is right there, standing next to Elon Musk. So, you know, for people to say, oh, yeah, this is just an Elon Musk cater. It, it's just simply not true. This is like a huge Elon Musk investor, and you can see him together, right? They're together here, so he likes Elon. He also even tweets out that he likes Elon, right? I'll, I'll read it to you. This is um, April 19th. It says here, uh, if Elon just spends 50% of his waking uh, working hours, that is, uh, at Tesla, none can beat Elon and Tesla. So he's like, hey, spend your time at Tesla, please. That's literally what he's saying here. Uh, I, I just want him to spend 50% of his waking hours on Tesla because he is a Tesla tyrant CEO. If he doesn't want to or has no time for Tesla, he should gracefully fade away and appoint his replacement. And, and I've been saying this guy's all, all along, you know, as a, as a Tesla investor, if you, you know, had a bunch of money in this, in this thing, and I think this guy's got like, I want to say $3 million or something of that nature. It's like a really a lot of money. Um, you know, you would want, you would want the CEO to be there. <laughs> Not off, you know, tweeting political stuff all day, every day, off doing, you know, whatever he's doing with his 10 kids, off doing whatever he's doing with, you know, multiple companies. You're like, yo, I put money in Tesla, be at Tesla. And that's kind of what he's saying here. Um, here's more. It's kind of interesting. Again, this is coming from the biggest uh, retail investor out there. He's saying here, uh, dear leader, supreme leader, uh, you already have absolute power over Tesla. Um, the board of directors is MIA and your shareholder slash adopted children have been abused lately. Ouch. Uh, dear leader uh, to board of directors and adopted children, you morons. <laughs> and again, this guy doesn't like hate Tesla. He's just, you know, concerned about his money, which I can I completely understand that. He also says here, board of directors and adopted children to their dad 
kowtowing, so bowing, kowtowing to the deer leader and say, sorry to disagree, please don't be angry. We shall give you uh, not only 20% of Tesla, but 169% power over Earth, Moon, and Mars. So he's kind of making a joke here. And um, this is also what he says here. This is on January 8, 2023. Again, this is the big shareholder person. He says, I contacted the board and one, and the one for about one year, what I got was nothing or at best, only empty promises. Actually, from these interactions, I found out Tesla is a one man show company, but it is no longer a family business. It is a public company with more than 100,000 employees. So I think these words are, are very telling of sort of how this person is feeling, right? And again, this person doesn't hate Musk. He's not a hater, he's not a hater on Tesla, in fact, he likes this stuff, that's why he put a bunch of money in this stuff. I think he's looking after his money. Now, what's interesting, and I told you guys about the pumper's dilemma before, you had this, you know, boomer or mama person, so this is one of the pumpers, I mean, like literally she makes her social media accounts all Tesla related, <laughs> I mean, come on, you more obvious than that. And uh, she's all pumping out this stuff. Tesla needs all of us to vote, a deal's a deal, we want it honored, and she's trying to support Elon Musk, but in my opinion, she's just trying to gain favor with Musk, she's basically a sycophant, um, and she's probably smart enough to know what that word is. And uh, I'm, I'm telling you guys, these, these people are pumpers and they're, um, or whatever to say, uh, they're not looking out for you, all right? Um, here's another person. So again, uh, this is um, the, the biggest shareholder who I would, you know, take more word over this person. We don't really know how much this person really has. This person's got real skin in the game. Uh, that says here, and this is the, his, his opinion on the pay package stuff. He says, if, um, uh, if the compensation is illegal, it is stolen property. So regarding the original package, um, if one bot slash receives stolen property, he has to return it to its owners, which is shareholders. I think it's an interesting perspective on this. Uh, the Delaware Chancery uh, is a court of equity that decided on equity that compensation was a gift to Elon. Then if true by law, all 100% shareholders must approve it. So the arguments, 90% of shareholders approved it. Uh, it is not legit. The gift has the approved uh, 100%. Um, and I'm not sure what he's talking about with this 90% thing. So just my understanding of it was the the original vote was more like 73%. That was my understanding. And then the other issue was with the um, the original court ruling was essentially that the board of directors wasn't doing their fiduciary duty uh, to protect shareholders and more acting on their own uh, sort of interest into enriching themselves. And the other thing is as well is that um, there's also the argument that the uh, board of directors is not uh, sort of separated from Musk and that Musk is uh, heavily controlling the thing. And to point out um, on the board of directors is many of Musk's personal friends and his brother. So uh, do be aware of that. Um, this is another um, issue that uh, Kwa Guan Leo is, is tweeting as well. And I, again, this guy's got a bunch of money in this stuff. Listen to what he has to say. He says, um, Leo Kwa Guan invested about 3.5 billion. That's a lot of money. Uh, thus individually, I have the most uh, skin in Tesla. I have 27,600,000 shares, uh, which I guess is, um, he's saying 0.75, more than ARK, which has 6 million, and Barron, which has 19 million, equals 25 million shares. But I have no say at Tesla on anything else. Is this fair? Um, he also says out here, um, Elon invests minus 39 billion in Tesla, so he has uh, the least skin of all Tesla investors. His remaining shares are his profits. He is fully compensated because of Tesla. He is the richest man alive. Most of the time lately, he is richly uh, enriched being Tesla tyrant CEO. Larry Ellison invested 1 billion, so 45 million shares or 1.5% of Tesla. And he's he's sharing these you know different numbers out there just to show you, give you an idea of how much skin in the game that he has. Um, you know, again, I've mentioned this before and it's not just me, other people have mentioned as well. Um, you know, Elon may be selling more stock. And so I think that's probably what's gonna happen um, if he does get that pay. First, the, the stock will, will go down because you got to dilute current shareholders. And then Elon's like, hey, look at all this stock. I better sell it before it goes down even more. And so that's probably what's going to happen here. I'm just telling the truth in this stuff and also totally telling the truth about what's going on with the Cybertruck. So the question I pose to you is, who dropped the soap at the Tesla Cybertruck factory? And what do you think about the pumper's dilemma? So uh, I try to do my best to tell you guys the truth in these things, be, give you realistic you know, predictions and stuff like that. Um, but I understand what's popular on YouTube is to, uh, is to fill people with hopes and dreams. I get that. Um, but you know what? I, I don't care about being popular. I care about telling the truth and give you good information. So thanks again for watching and uh, I'll catch you next video.